Good morning from Tokyo again. Today's agenda, we're actually just going to go to Don Quixote to do some souvenir shopping because that's what mom wants to do. Then we're gonna head over to Tokyo Tower, take some pictures in front of that. Oh, and then we're gonna go to like the anime area. And then my brother wants to go to like some aquariums and stuff. And then we wanna go thrifting. So that's the agenda. Kind of the rest of our stay in Tokyo, we're just chilling. We don't really have anything planned other than team labs tomorrow and then a nice dinner for my mom's birthday on her actual birthday. But other than that, we're just gonna kind of explore. There's still so much we wanna see and do, but obviously we're trying to cater to what the family wants to do as well. Like I still wanna go to Harajuku. I still wanna go to Ginza. I wanna hit up some cute cafes, but you know, maybe we'll have to save that for another time because this is ending up to just be like, you know, a nice, cute family trip. But yeah, so we'll just go along with it and see what rest of Tokyo has for us to offer has for us to offer has to offer for us <laughs> whatever let's go oh yeah there's a heat wave across the whole world right now and it's going to be another scorcher in Tokyo so I'm thinking of leaving the big camera here and again doing my little uh DJI pocket 3 with me as well as my phone and then just probably take my uh Fuji X100 six this has been really cool for like cinematic sort of still video shots and then i've been taking screenshots of the videos so like a kind of weird hybrid hack i guess you can say because switching from video to photo here is kind of slow and i was missing a lot of shots that i wanted so i think i've just been sticking to video capture and then screenshotting so that's kind of been my workflow for the last couple days all right we are headed to tokyo tower we got the family back there it's actually not too bad right now. Feels good, huh? Yeah. We got some cloud cover, so off to a good start. Mom looking cute with her dress and Louie. <laughs> you gotta switch out to the other one too, Mom. Go, Don. <laughs> the boys have been collecting uh, change from these vending machines. They've uh, collected quite a few. I think uh, over 200 yen now. All right, there's Tokyo Tower right there. Max is taking a picture. Is this future photographer over here? It's the Russian embassy. Don't worry, I'm not a spy. Just a tourist. <laughs> Look how cool the building is over there. I love the, uh, the greenery, the plant life. Super cool. Is it fun like their Eiffel Tower? All right, I think we're approaching the tower now. Awesome. That's so cool. Pretty cool. Ready? One, two, three. That looks so cool. Right here. Ready? One, two, three. Let me get a close up. All right, Tokyo Tower done. Now we're gonna take mom to Don Quixote, which is like one of their staple souvenir chains in Tokyo. That way she could get all her souvenir shopping done and all her pasalubong. We call that pasalubong in Tagalog. Kind of just gifts for when you travel for friends and family and stuff like that. And then after that, I think we're gonna just branch off and uh, let the moms rest and uh, maybe go to the, what's the anime place called? Akibar, uh, Akibara, Akibara, or something like that, which is known for a lot of anime stores and shops, and then thrifting. So, <laughs> Konnichiwa! <laughs> That's cool. Uh... Taking a quick break. <laughs> it's hot out. So what is this? Oh, we uh, just entered an embassy. <laughs> also, I believe Japan is one of the leading countries in recycling and sustainability. Like, look, look how good. So nicely packaged. It's all bottles. You don't have crap in there. Very nice and sustainable. And also our hotel right now, I was like annoyed last night because you know, all day traveling and it was so hot getting to our rooms because it was open air sort of hotel, but that's for sustainability reasons. They wanted to keep the building open and that way they didn't have to run AC throughout the entire buildings. And so the AC would only be obviously on the main floor lobby and then the rooms. So I was like, okay, I can't be mad at sustainability, but I was annoyed last night, so I take it back. <laughs> Check out this little Ferrari store. Yeah, I'm not into Ferraris. I actually think they're pretty, pretty hideous, but 
to each their own, you know? There's a Don Q right there, Don Quixote. Took the tower again. Fickle cool picture. And they say, you're gonna find the new all right, it's souvenir shopping time. Oh! Oui. What happened? Oh, feels good in here. So much souvenir. Which one again? I used to love Kuro Kuro Kuropi. That should have been the first indicator that I was gay. Everything here is so cute. <laughs> Honestly, I'm like super overwhelmed. <laughs> There's just so much to look at. It's kind of crazy. All right, I think this is all beauty goods over here. Let's go to the second floor. What is this? Oh my God, it's a dog toy. Okay, let's go upstairs. All right. I just saw more food and stuff, more beauty and food. Oh my god, there's a third floor. Oh, here we go. All right, so cosmetics, food, clothing, cherry. Okay, so they got a bunch. Let me text this to the group. All right, so this floor has a bunch of food items. Some spaghetti. <laughs> oh, this looks like some sort of fried fish. Ooh, what is this? Some kind of curry dish. Oh, they even got meat here. That pork belly. All right, now I think we're like in the housewares as well as the clothing. My mom is looking for some scarves for her friends, so let's see if we can find some. I don't know, maybe she'll have more luck at like a thrift store or market for cute scarves. Okay, I'll report back if I find anything. Okay, next floor. We got some luggage. Yeah, need to buy another check-in for all the stuff you buy here. Your place because I know for United, which we took, if you're overweight, it's a $200 charge, so probably cheaper to get another check-in. <laughs> Literally never ending. Oh my God, how cute is that? Oh, we found the jackpot. We found the boys and, ew, show the vlog, show the vlog, gross. Which one should I get? Dookie, ooh. Which one should I get? Let's see. It's the blue tubby. Ooh, I like the blue one. The yellow tubby or the red tubby. Mm, which one do you like? I like the blue because it's my favorite thing. Then go for the blue, huh? So you don't know who Malaya is? I don't. Okay, we're on the hunt for this bullet train right here. There's two, a white and a green. I see, Dia, Dia found a bullet train. The <laughs> red one. That's not the a bullet train. train. Bruh. I found a better bullet train. They're so cool. Look at that Shibu Inu. I bought that for Josh and Dad. Super cute. We're looking for like a little toy for the girls, but something more in the Japanese style. But these are a little bit scary, so maybe we'll keep looking. All right, fifth floor out of six. Very cool stationery. Donnie's markers. How much are they here? Two. Oh, that's cheap. We're looking for some stickers for our new uh, Removas. We want like a Japanese flag we saw that looked cool on one. Like, Nothing like yeah. Kitty, yeah. yeah. I'm scared. Keep it in there, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, six and last floor. This is where they have some uh, luxury vintage goods. I want to try to find like a nice wallet for my nephew, maybe. Look at that Remova. Bottega Veneta, Miss Philly. Whoa. Bless you, girl. All right, so that right there is about $670. There's a little Gucci collab. We got some Prada. We got some Balenciaga. We got some Louis here. Wallets. Oh my God, they have a, so much Louis. That is crazy. Whoa. Holy crap. What? There's so much. It is never ending. Not bad. What's 59,000? Is this the size we have? I think that's the size I have. We don't have this though. How come? Huh? This is probably like an older style. This is. This looks like my size. <laughs> we found you. 366. Not bad. Oh, the prices. What the heck? This is so weird. 
All right, some souvenir shopping done. Now we're headed over to Akibara, which is the anime district. So we're gonna take the subway there. Moms are at the hotel resting until dinner time. you got today just today i got this for free i found it on the ground 100 thanks and, um i have enough but i forgot the rest of the coins at my at my hotel all right now move go move <laughs> Got a little lost. I think we found our way. here at Akibara and we're gonna try out this Gigo store first. I'm not really into anime but Donnie is sort of. I'm over here trying to shop okay for clothes. <laughs> I want to go thrifty. Maybe tomorrow if we have time. Oh look we got another content creator right here. What the heck? What the heck? Hello. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? That guy. This guy. Oh, it's a video game. Oh, that's crazy. This looks like it's just like a gaming center. Yeah. 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 Whoa, look at that. Oh my god. God, I'm not into anime because there is a lot of cool stuff here. Like if I was into anime, I'd want everything. <laughs> oh yeah, it's way better. Yeah. Okay. All right, and just like that, we're back home. We had a full day today of just like souvenir shopping, and then we went to Akibara. Donnie popped off. Got some few figurines, which are really cute. I will show you guys in a separate video of everything we got in Japan. Now we're going out to dinner. We've been eating Asian food, Japanese food for the last week and a half now. And so we're kind of craving something different. And there's actually a Italian restaurant by our hotel, which is like a five minute walk from our hotel. So I think we're going to do that. And uh, it looked good. So little change of pace. We didn't get a chance to go thrifting because we ran out of time. So I'm going to go tomorrow because I really want to get some cool stuff. Let's go to dinner. Nice purse, mom. Where'd you get it? Our oh, favorite store. Louis Kyoto? Yeah. Mom, how many Louis do you have? Oh, I don't know. You don't keep track? <laughs> no. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. Did you lose your knife? Yes. Thank Ooh, you. That nice. looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Wow. Uh, that looks good. So why is the sauce separated today? This is actually really good. Yeah. All right, back in the hotel, dinner was actually really good. My lasagna was bomb. <laughs> the lasagna was good, huh? Mm -hmm. It was really yeah, good. Was good. <laughs> Yours was good. He got like a little beef stew dish, but it almost reminded me of like a beef bourguignon, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit. But we went to Lawson's to get some uh, liquid, some water. Lately over here, it's so good. I don't even know what it means or what it says, but it looks like it says milk water or something. But it doesn't taste like milk. It's like 
very refreshing and a little bit fruity. I don't know, let me know if you guys know what this is. I mean, I could look it up obviously, but I kind of like the intrigue. It's from Asahi too. Delicious. Got this at Lawson's. Let's do a quick taste. Let's do a quick taste test. Babe, can you open this real quick? Hot fried chicken. That's how it looks. Let's see. Wait. Whoa. <laughs> I could smell chicken before I put it in my mouth. And it was kind of... And it's grossing me out because it's chip, but it smells like chicken. <laughs> smell it first. It smells smell like it. dog food. Oh, dog food. That's what it is. <laughs> that's good. Really good. Oh, it's so spicy. It's good, but the, it stinks. I got weirded out because it's smells like dog food. All right, we're going to go to sleep. We have Team Lab in the morning, and then we're gonna go thrifting. I am determined to thrift tomorrow at Shimo Kitozawa because that is like supposedly one of the best thrifting in Tokyo. And you know what? We gotta do it here. Let me read this for you guys. Uh, this laid back bohemian district is home to vintage clothing stores, select bookstores, music shops, and funky, distinctive cafes and bars. That sounds right up my alley. Okay, I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. All right, welcome to another day in Tokyo. We are heading to Team Lab's border list right now with the fam. It's a art museum, basically. A lot of LED light installations, and yeah, it should be fun. It's, oh, I'm holding my mom's they had it. Remember the one bag that she just got at Kyoto. Remember the one that I saw? Because it's hot. And it's my mom's birthday tomorrow, officially. She'll be 80. Mom, how are you feeling about being Hello. 80 tomorrow? I don't know, my bones hurt. <laughs> what? My joints hurt. Your are joints hurting. and your bones? Thank <laughs> you. Solid structures right there. Look at that garden up there. It's so cool. So, like, there's stairs. But next to it, it's like a little mini garden amongst the concrete jungle of Tokyo. Tokyo is so beautiful. Japan in general, even if it's just like a concrete jungle, there's still so much greenery around. Like, look at this. Everything is so pristine, very zen-like. She's a bougie area though, that's for sure. But look, you can see those steps right there that take you up all the way there. Oh wait, no, those aren't steps. <laughs> I thought those were steps. Here's that huge building again from yesterday. Team Lab Borderless. Mori Building Digital Art Museum. Let's go in. Ah, uh, yes, with them, yeah. Konnichiwa. And please leave your umbrella side. Okay.
Don, come here. Grab it. There you go. <laughs> Mom, mom looks scared. Mom's like, because she's <laughs> tripping out. Mom, this is what happens when you're on drugs. <laughs> All right, guys, we finished Teen Labs, freshened up, went back to the hotel, dropped the moms off, and now we're headed over to the thrifting area. Teen Labs was amazing. If you're in, if you're in Tokyo, you guys gotta go. There's, I think there's a few different ones. Such a cool experience, highly recommend. We made it to Shimo Kitizawa. Already so much shopping, like look. Ah. Oh my God, everywhere. Like look at all these stores and all these clothes. Oh my God. Nirvana. I'm gonna put you guys down for a while so I can uh, enjoy this experience. But here, one last look. Ooh, New Japan, bro. What the heck? 
Oh my god, this is my heaven. Okay, BRB guys. My favorite store so far in this area. Got a bunch of cool stuff. Ragla Magla. They got the. Definitely my favorite store so far, Ragla Magla. It's kind of hard to find because I only saw it from this little sign from this apron right here. But yeah, this is so cool. I've been kind of shy to vlog because we only have a limited time here. So I'm like trying to use all of my time shopping versus trying to get content. So my apologies, but I freaking love this area. I could be here for the whole freaking day and we only have like two hours. So try my best to like just keep going. All right, guys, back from another day in Tokyo. We just wrapped up shopping at Shimo Kitizawa area. It was awesome. I could have spent like half or a whole day there, but didn't have much time. So got a few things excited to show you guys but we also got this johnny just took a bite of it and he was like oh my god it's so juicy so i wanted to get it on camera you can't tell if it's a peach or a nectar but it smells like a peach to me the fruit here has been amazing so let's go in with a bite mm. told you oh my god it's like juice there's like no meat it's all juice mm. huh? Wow. Wow. Why is the fruit so good here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you get it. It's like strawberries. Oh my god. I want to get more strawberries. All right. But yeah, Japan has been really amazing, but we're ready to go home. We miss our dogs. We miss our life. <laughs> but it's been fun. I think if we did come back, we would definitely go back to Kyoto. Kyoto is one of our favorite areas, my favorite areas. It was just so beautiful. Osaka was good, but I feel like we saw enough of it that we wouldn't need to go back there. It kind of honestly reminded me of like Honolulu in Hawaii. For some reason, like the vibe, it's just like a lot of shopping, but maybe we didn't see Osaka like we should have, but... Yeah, Kyoto for sure, we want to come back. Tomorrow's my mom's actual birthday. We did pretty much everything we wanted to do as a family, so it's kind of hard to... <laughs> figure out what else we want to do so i think we're just going to go to the art museum aquarium or aquarium art museum i think it's called over in ginza probably just try to find a lunch and then we have reservations for dinner for her actual birthday over in the rapungi area where we're staying it was really hard to find reservations for a group of 10 so lucky enough we found a spot it's like a it's a brazilian steakhouse but they, they, they do have like japanese cuts of meat so we figured that would be good for us because they do have a kids menu, we have two kids, so we're just trying to find something that is good but also convenient for everyone. But yeah, we've been having a good time but ready to go home and uh, kind of scared to edit these vlogs. But yeah, we're probably just going to grab a quick bite tonight and then we'll see you guys tomorrow for the aquarium and my mom's birthday. <laughs> Just wrapped up dinner with the family, just taking a quick little walk in Tokyo. I got a beautiful view of uh, the Tokyo Tower. Let me show you guys. Konnichiwa. All right, so this convenience store right here has been clutch for us, Lawson. Look what they got. They can warm it up for you too. Literally, you can get your own ramen here. I don't know why, I got the carbonara here and it was bomb, but they don't have it right now. Oh, here. This was delicious. Uh, yum. We're gonna try this one. I tried it the other day. It smells like dog food, but delicious. All right, guys. Lawson's haul success. If you guys are interested, I'm doing a YouTube video, and in all my YouTube videos, uh, we're eating convenience store foods. Make sure to watch the vlogs. Long day today. Cheers. All right, last day in Tokyo. Let's make it count. Sneak peek. Oh, you guys saw that already, huh? Got you a BMW. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. For the Empress. <laughs> Look at the front? Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember your joke, Ma? <laughs> she said, what, why? Oh, Auntie said, why do they call it Uber? And then why'd you say Ma? Uber there, Uber here. <laughs> Uber there, Uber here. <laughs> Just in another bougie area of Tokyo, we are in the Ginza area. Bottega Veneta, Mason Margiela, Tiffany's there. Um, this is the building where they have the Art, Art Aquarium Museum. We're just waiting for the rest of the family to get here. 
what we've been doing is we've been Ubering moms to the locations while they take the subway so that we're not all taking Ubers to save some money. So we're like reserving the Ubers for mom. But yeah, so we're just waiting for them. Majority of the places that we've been to, there is no seating. So my mom has always had to stand when we're waiting. It's kind of weird to see seating here. Alright, now we're on our way to look for the new era store because a couple of people want the uh, Tokyo baseball team jerseys, uh, jerseys yeah. or a hat. Donnie wants to get one for his brother. And then after this, I think we're going to get some sushi and then we're going to break off and me and Donnie are going to go check out Hirajuku since we haven't been there yet and then uh, explore a little bit there. So we got Jan some shoes for planning your trip. Thanks Jan. I can plan your trip too to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sushi time. We have this back home. Is this the original? It started here. Anybody want that? I don't know. I'll take it. Bye, yeah. Take it to both of the moms. I get one of these next. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 Bam! Like a pro. Good. Show you ahi tuna. Going with that one. I got that one. Mm. <laughs> Only took twelve days or eleven days. I know how. Okay. This is gonna pop out of that. Got it. Person. Yeah. 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 She take. Oh, we've been in a lot. Boo. All right, now we're headed to Harajuku to do some shopping and just kind of check it out because we haven't been there. All right, we made it to Harajuku. Hey, I want to take a picture here. Made it to Harajuku. Let's go check it out. Shop. Boom, let's go. We got to look for Gwen Stefani. Gwen. Harajuku girls. That's not how you say it, huh? But not it? at all. <laughs> we are here. <laughs> Ultimate tourist mode right now, but I don't give a fuck. Okay, last day. Let's go. Oh my god, I love this. This is so cool. I'm glad we uh, made it out here. After one of the first days we were here, we were trying to get this, so <gasps> we're grabbing one. Mwah. Low key, kind of ironic right now because I literally saved my ugliest outfit for last. <laughs> just just the plain tee. You I'm did. literally just a plain ass tea in Harajuku, but I didn't know we were going, so whatever. <laughs> Donnie's laughing at me. All right, guys, we're going to separate a little because I want to hit up Kinji, which is a used thrift store, a vintage store, and Donnie's just going to go shop around a little bit around this area. Yeah, these are pretty sick. I might have to try these on. Okay, I'm going kind of crazy here. I already have a basket, but then I found these awesome Levi's jackets, but... I don't want to take any home because our luggage is already heavy, but damn, these are sick. Like what? That's dope. So good. Okay, let me get out of here because I don't want to take that home. Too heavy. 
there is like a um, gajillion stores here. It's kind of overwhelming. <laughs> I feel like we have to come back to Tokyo just to go shopping because you could spend one day in one area looking at all the stores. All right, another second street. They have 800 of these in Japan. Oh, konnichiwa. <laughs> Thank you. Have fun. little urban jungle up there. That's so cool. Checking out the MoMA store. Love this artwork right here. So good. Okay, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I'm obsessed with astronauts. Then he projects some LED lights. Oh my gosh, this would be perfect on our bookcase. I'm a little bit obsessed. All right guys, we are gonna try to walk all the way from Harajuku to Rapungi, where our hotel is. It's about a hour walk, so wish us luck. I'm still bummed that I'm literally wearing like the ugliest outfit I took on this trip in Harajuku. What was I thinking? I was thinking we wouldn't have time to come here, so that's why I wore this today. <laughs> oh my God, okay. All right, we spotted a gentle monster. Just gonna take a quick peek, cause we can't wait in line. So cool. this house is like I'd want to live here oh you know just a random defender in this neighborhood vending machine just got some water Donald's like can you picture yourself living somewhere here I'm like yeah totally can 100% can so I hope you here can hear me but just us walking the streets right here like local streets Exploring, getting from one place to the other. Totally would, th would have done this in Tokyo, but just so hot. Like right now, it's still in the upper 80s, but the sun isn't out because it's cloudy, so it's bearable. But this is sort of like what me and Donnie love to do. Just explore. Like, look at this. Love that. That's so cool. This is like a side of Tokyo we wouldn't have seen if we didn't decide to walk from Harajuku all the way to Rapungi because this is where the locals live. At Rapungi Hills now and it's just all uphill I think for a mile. Okay, I think we're gonna come up to this cute garden up here. We are, aha, here we go. Almost about half a mile left. All right, here's my look for dinner. This shirt I got at Nordstrom Rack. These pants at Japan, and this bag in Japan. <laughs> so the cool thing about this bag, it's so versatile. So like you could cinch it so it looks like a bag, like a, we call it a supot in Tagalog, kind of like a grocery bag. <laughs> but that's pretty dope, huh? So I think I'm gonna go with this right here. All right, let's go to dinner. You guys look good. Here's my guys entire nice. life savings. Whoa, is that all you got today? I mean, this trip? No, this is the rest of my money. Oh. Let's go birthday girl. Look, we're all wearing our Louis. <laughs> it's birthday party Outfit time. change. Still the same Louis. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're all walking to the restaurant, which is about 0.7 miles away. Happy birthday, mom. Thank you. Yeah. I think he was just getting some. I still don't even know, like, looks Uh, let them know your YouTube channel, cause uh, so they can see your vlog. My YouTube channel is Grace Miss Games. Awesome. When's your vlog coming out? Um, I don't know. Like <laughs> maybe in two days. Oh, that's fast. It'll be it'll be in the description of this video. Okay, I'll put it. Honestly, Japan, you're amazing. Everything is so freaking cool here. Here. What? Barbacoa. We have no head. Wow, look at all that. Let's go. Oh, yeah, awesome. Come on. What is that, Grayson? Can I have one? Let's do a taste test. 
Cheers. Taste. I'm gonna say a six out of ten. You said a nine. It just needs to be warm. What movie is this? Big. We need to know how to eat the corn. Those little corns. Yes. Take one as well. Thank you. Thank you. I you you're going to like that. I love it. You Thank you. Thank you. Hey, that's weird. Here. That's weird looking fried rice. Ten. Oh, okay. Oh. 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 Happy birthday, Mom! Happy birthday! Thank you! Thank you! You forget we're in Japan. <laughs> Mom, you ready to go home? <laughs> you have a good time here, though? Oh, yeah. Huh. Good you have a good time? 9.5. Oh, that's pretty good though. Hello. Squire. Grayson, you're down there. Squire. <laughs> Max, where's Max? There's Max. There's Big Max. All right, guys, we're at the airport now. Found a lounge. We have a couple hours before we board home to San Diego. Just got some beer. We have our new Ramoa suitcases right here, which have come in clutch because we just like plop our bags on there and it's easy to walk through the airport. But yeah, I will touch base with you guys when we land in San Diego. Excited to be home, see the girls. Hi, and just like that, we're home. Well, not just like that, it's been exactly three weeks since we've gotten home. But uh, right when we got home, it was kind of back to normal, straight to work. We didn't even get to have like the vacation after a vacation moment. Usually we take a couple days to just decompress and uh, kind of take it all in and relax, but we had to go straight to work. But we missed these little babies right here, but they did so good. Thank you to our nieces, Irene and Ava, for taking such good care of the girls. I know it took Hiro a while to warm up. <laughs> But this one, she was a good girl, huh? Were you a good girl? Hmm? Heroes over there, chillin'. Anyways, yeah, um, Japan was freaking amazing. I actually wanted to take the time out right now to talk about it, but this vlog is already really long, so I'm thinking of saving it for either a separate video or just casually talking about it in a future vlog. But I do want to say that we fell in love with Japan. We can't wait to go back. We literally, like, came home and looked at flights for October, November, December. <laughs> Then we looked at our bank accounts and bank statements and credit card statements. We're like, uh, hold up, chill out, relax, recover from this trip first. You ain't got a full-time job. <laughs> chill, bro. <laughs> Cause we did really pop off in terms of shopping. I spent more than I had planned to, but at the same time, I was like, you know what? Let's just go for it. I'm like life is too short, have fun, figure it out later. But yeah, I'm, I am excited to share all that stuff with you guys. Um, we got a lot of cool stuff. At least I think we did. In my mind, I think it's really cool. Donnie popped off with all of his figurines and his toys. <laughs> he literally wants to go back just to shop for more toys. I'm like not even kidding you. But yeah, I got a lot of cool clothes. I got some accessories. I got looking over there because it's all piled right there. Obviously, you know that we've got our... Uh, 
Remova is there. We got my Louis bag there. So yeah, um, I'll do a separate video haul about everything we got in Japan in another video. Also want to just say too, one of the things I just loved about Japan is, you know, we were kind of living in this 12 day ignorantly blissful time of just not having to kind of think about what was going on over here in, in our neck of the woods. And it was just really nice to be around um, a culture and society who really just has a lot of respect for each other and has a lot of pride in the things that they do. I don't know, it was just very respectful community there, which we really loved. And I'll be honest, Japan wasn't on my high list of countries to visit, but lo and behold, it's one of the only countries we've gone to that we already want to go back, which says a lot. I just feel like it was just, I don't know, it's kind of magical when you look back at it. Um, we were like in our own little bubble for 12 days. So yeah, like even just thinking about the food we ate, like nutritious food did not mean expensive food. You can get a really nutritious, high quality meal there for a few dollars, which kind of blew my mind. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I am wanting to do a separate video just about everything and like kind of rate the places we went to and talk about it a little bit more in depth because I went into Japan not knowing anything. Thank you to my sister-in-law, Jen. Thank you, sis, for planning all this because if you know me, I'm the type of guy who has his lists out, who has his spreadsheets, who has his itineraries, who has research for every place we're going when we travel. But this time I kind of just went and just wanted to experience it without knowing anything. And I think that's why I was stumbling with words. I couldn't even say Shimo Kitizawa. So easy to say, but I kept fumbling the words because I just, yeah, I guess I just didn't really look anything up. But at the same time, I kind of loved it. And uh, I kind of got to experience traveling without overthinking. And yeah, that was awesome. That's not to say though, next time we travel, I'm not gonna look everything up. I usually am. And I probably always will. <laughs> It's just who I am. And as I was editing, I was like, oh my gosh, like I didn't even know where we were at some points. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting a little off tangent. I'm gonna do a separate video, hopefully. We'll do a separate video talking about some final thoughts about Japan, first time traveling to Japan, traveling with a large family in Japan, all that stuff I feel like might be useful information if people are looking to travel there, especially with a large group or a large family. Yeah, and then I'm gonna film my Japan haul soon, so look out for that. But again, thank you so much for watching. And mom, I hope you had a really good time celebrating your 80th birthday with the family over there. Thank you again because she did buy all of our plane tickets. So that gave us a lot of extra spending money in Japan. And I hope you had fun. Love you, happy 80th. And to my vlog family, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, if you can, try to choose happy over sad today. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye everybody. You know what, since you sticked around to the end of this video, let me show you guys a sneak peek something i thrifted over there it is a wallet i think this retails for like 400 dollars. i gotta look at my receipts but i remember it being around 60 us dollars which is crazy but it is a wallet by mason Mangiella, and it's in this beautiful beige color right here look how pretty that is and it still smells new mm. and it also came with the Paperwork. I already put my credit cards in here, but look how beautiful that is. Such a good find. I don't really keep cash on me, but there are two inserts there for cash. I love this wallet so much. It's like perfect. It's literally my color. You guys know me, look. <laughs> Even my pantulog, my sleeping clothes are beige. <laughs> Anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys since you made it to the end of the video. Anyways, see you guys next time.